Hey there, today we're taking a look at a memory comparison of Hitman World of Assassination running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now you know the deal at this point, I am testing this with the different memory configurations I can set. It is 8GB, 12GB, and 16GB of RAM. The 8GB is running in dual channel with two 4GB sticks. The 12GB is running a 4GB stick and an 8GB stick. And then the 16GB configuration is running two 8GB gigabyte sticks all of these are running at 3200 megahertz and we are running the game with the lowest in-game graphics settings and it is running the built-in benchmarks which has two scenes so we're going to be taking a look at both scenes we are using also fsr on top of this and it is fsr set to the balanced preset so we're going to see how it ends up performing in all of these different configurations we are also running the chip with a tdp of 30 watts that doesn't mean we're going to hit it all the time but that is what the tdp is set to now Jumping into the actual comparison, you can see here that there is some pretty noticeable differences in terms of performance. The most interesting aspect of these results is that while there is a increase in terms of FPS average moving up in terms of memory, there is a slight regression in terms of 1% lows when we go with the 12 gigabyte configuration. This was a consistent thing that kept happening over multiple runs. So there is a measurable regression that happens here. That being said, you could get away with playing with any of these configurations if a 30 fps average is reasonable for you though the frequent dips into the mid to low 20s is going to be very annoying in comparison to the 16 gigabyte configuration here where at least your one percent lows are barely going under 30 fps so at least with this specific benchmark scene we can at least assume that we can get a reasonable level of performance with most of these configurations though 16 gigabytes is going to be the most ideal and this does seem to be be a issue with the mismatched memory more than anything else because of the fact that if you look at the RAM utilization between 12 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes, it's really not that different at all. So it seems to just come down to the fact that not all of the memory is going to be able to run on dual channel in the 12 gigabyte configuration. But if we move on to the Dubai benchmark scene, which the game itself really doesn't seem to want you to use since it really just defaults to the other benchmark scene more than anything else, we get the same averages as before though there is a huge hit to the one percent lows here now i understand why they push the other benchmark scene more than this one the reason being is that the other one is far more representative of what the game is actually like this seems to be a worst case scenario type of benchmark and it certainly seems to affect the one percent lows but at least from what i've played and that was just a couple of missions on here with the actual system itself this was with just 16 gigabytes of ram but the first benchmark scene is far more comparable to what the performance is actually going to be like when you're playing the game so something to keep in mind but this does show that in the most demanding scenarios you might actually run into some pretty noticeable problems here but as it stands the game is actually far more playable on here than i would have expected and this is with fsr set to balance you want to boost your performance even more you can go with the performance preset just know that the game really really takes a hit when you use fsr even the balance preset does doesn't look great. 